Uh, Minnesota, sure. you are going to be chatting with somebody about the Minnesota State Fair. It has a long and very interesting history. You can find out more about it at the History and Heritage Center. The Minnesota Historical Society partnered with the fair to help develop the exhibits. And Jason has a special guest with him there at the fair. And, and he had a ticket to get into this new CEO of the Minnesota Historical Society. This is Kent Whitworth. Kent, great to have you here. Great to be here, Jason. Kent, you're uh, brand new to the Historical Society. Correct. I started in July. I mean, I, I don't detect an, an accent of a guy who grew up in Ely here. No, not quite, but my mom is a native of Minnesota. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very good. Well, it's great to have you here in the state. What do you think of, uh, of, of the state fair? There's a big presence uh, that the Historical Society has. This is obviously my first state fair, and I'm thrilled to be here. I'm very excited about the food and very excited about what MNHS is is providing guests to the state fair. Now, what, what kind of history? I mean, obviously, these fairgrounds have an incredible history, and you guys are really helping tell that story. Yeah, we are. We've got a, a walking tour, a history of the state fair walking tour. There are 12 stops, and you can pick up a brochure. If you punch at least eight of those stops, we'll give you a prize at one of our booths. Nice. And we've got a major setup in the education building. Uh, and that is really... Uh, the history is something I found over my time here in Minnesota. It's been 15 years. But people are fascinated at how the State Fair started. Obviously, it wasn't the food festival that it is today, but it was really a lot of horse racing that was going on. Yeah, yeah, an awful lot of uh, horse racing and agricultural base. But back to the food, i got to tell you, I can hardly wait to have a pork chop on a stick. <laughs> I was over there a minute We're ago. very just, close. You yeah, taking it, in the right? aroma. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's on the top of my list. It is fun. I mean, this is a great opportunity to get people who are here for whatever reason to to pick up a little dose of history. Well. Perfect way to do that. We've got uh, a program that we do called History on a Stick. And we do it at uh, 9.30 and 10.30 every morning. But it's sort of a lighthearted uh, trip through Minnesota history. Yeah. And that's in the education building? Uh, I believe it's... Uh, Oh, that's the West, West End Market. Market. There's a right. whole beautiful museum in yeah. the West End Market, yeah, too. To absolutely. Check out. Very good. Kent Whitworth, thank you so much. Welcome to Minnesota. Thank you, Jason. It's an honor to be here. We're glad to have you, and it's always fun to have someone experiencing their first fair. But, Heather, you know from the Good Question uh, segment, history of this fair is always, always key interest to our viewers. Everybody loves it. Questions about it every year, and I love the booths out there that explain oh, yeah. all of it. It's so fun. Great, Jason. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. Thank you. You saw Ken out there in his sweater. Another right. cool yeah. day today. Yesterday was our coldest day so far this summer. Just